So what would happen if you bought a Walmart Minimoto and installed the world's most powerful upgrade kit? Well, it might turn out something like this. Now, I don't usually go over the price, but this is a DIY kit, so let's go over it. Starting with the bike itself, this is a Razor MX500, which you can buy from Walmart for $645. Everything else on this is from Electro & Co. So starting with the main power upgrade kit, which consists of the battery, motor, controller, throttle, and key ignition, this costs $1,958. The upgraded forks are $450, but they also come with the bars, fenders, and adapters, as well as a front wheel, but it's a dirt wheel, so I'm not using that wheel. Unfortunately, you can't just buy the fork on its own, although I think Electron Co. should offer that. The rear shock is $120. The two sprockets in the chain are $130, which I think is the only part of this that's overpriced. The RSF wheel adapters are $15. The upgraded front and rear hydraulic disc brakes are $115. The underglow, headlight, USB charger, switches, and wiring harness are $186. The RSF street wheels are $215 if you can find them. They're almost always sold out. So at a grand total of $3,834, once you see the performance of this bike, you'll know how good of a deal that is. Now I've only had this bike for a week, but it's already filthy. So let's give it a quick clean. I'm using my charged all-purpose cleaner to degrease the sprocket. And I'm going in with my charged tire cleaner to remove all that street grime. I designed these, it's a Saronster brand, so I encourage you to give them a try. Your bike will thank you, and so will I. It really helps the channel. It's so nice out. I'm riding the Domos. He said he's done some things to the cart. I can't wait to see. That is a lot of crows. That's a lot of crows. Damn. I've never seen this many crows in a formation. Charmed, sure. Dude, look at this thing! We were talking about taking it out tomorrow. You think it'll be ready? Criminal offensive side eye. So, <laughs> the other day we were riding together and he made a crazy turn without signaling. And I was like, you need to signal. And now every time we turn, he signals like too much just to make fun of me. No way, there's a horse. They don't have a bike path, they literally have a horse path. Can your horse wheelie though? No. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> this is crazy. For <laughs> what? Hell yeah. Watch him, person, bro. Dude. Oh, God. Let's go. That was super cool. Are you sure? Bro. I judged X Games for six that. years. So in order for the police to allow us to comply for the wheelie comp, we can't block that road. Right now, for Nathan. sure. <laughs> right, Give it up for Nathan. Give it up for Nathan. Let's go, Nathan. It's all you. Let's go. Back up, back up. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Dang, son. Dang. Oh. Yo, come on. Let's go, okay. Ryan. Try. Oh! Damn! Come on, Carson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, oh. oh yeah. yeah, fuck! Come on! Oh, let's yeah, see it, let's out. see it. Oh. Oh. Hey, I think it is the same guy, look. Oh, yeah, there you go, okay. Oh. One more. One more. Oh, he's gonna show oh, he's gonna the accuracy right there. Right. Hey. Oh. All right, y'all. Hey, give it up. Oh. All right, y'all. Give it up for Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh. He meant to do that. Nice. Look at that control. Look at that control. Yes. Yeah, All right. So that's the prize. That's it. We've decided the winners. 
King of HB Fat Bike. Here we go. Brandon! So he got the belt and he won the bike. Let's see the key, let's see the key, let's see the key. Let's see the key. Right here. Look, it's better than everything. So yeah, like I said, if you really do get in trouble, you can let go of that and it'll just idle and you can drag your feet. That's about the angle you want to drift at. Dude, this is crazy right. how you did this. Oh, that's smart. What a weird feeling. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is a unique experience like this is such a crazy way to engage a, a vehicle it, but it's it's actually like kind of intuitive except when you're turning I don't know where to I don't know where to put my feet oh 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 no 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 I think I broke it look at this thing come on I don't know, dude. I don't think it's long enough. <laughs> How long is this thing? <laughs> That's crazy. No way, I just saw you up at Big Sky. Oh, what's up? Sick, can we get a picture? Absolutely. Thank Hell you. yeah. You guys have a good one. Dude, just to kind of get the muscle memory. This thing, this thing actually rides nice. You're like Willy Wonka with these things, dude. You just, you're coming up with all one of ones. Yeah. It's weird and unique and never before done, but it works. Yeah. And it like shouldn't work, but it does. And you made it work. It's so impressive. Go check out Cody Hovlin on YouTube. I'm gonna link them down below. These were insane. Right, I'm gonna go ride with Jim. Here we go, top speed run on the 14 kilowatt Walmart bike, the Razor Extreme Kit from Electro Co. So I want to take a moment to tell a story of something that happened literally yesterday. You might be wondering, why is there a massive hole in my left glove? And you know what? There's an even bigger thing I need to show you. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to do it during the wheelie. One more try, one more try. Ready? Look at this. So I was plugging in a battery. I won't say what the battery was or what it was in, but I was plugging a battery in and the leads were inverse. So usually when you plug a battery in and you haven't hit the breaker, like on a 72 volt turn on, it'll spark and it'll catch you off guard, but it's not a big deal. When I connected the battery to the battery connector, it wasn't a spark. It was a nuclear explosion. My entire field of view was just white. No peripheral view is just white for, you know, a split second. I jumped up step back i thought everything was gonna explode and i was like damn that hurt look at this that's a burn that's an electrical burn and then on this hand it burned right through the finger this finger is actually not burned at all the glove really protected it but i mean you can see how much power was exerted in that all this purple stuff is gonna blister and peel off it's really painful right now and i just want to say i'm not going to use the d word but you just need to be cautious with them because even when you're not riding it wasn't this by the way <laughs> okay but even when you're not riding, you have to be cautious. There's so much power in these batteries. So I just want to share that from yesterday. As far as this bike goes, I've got all sorts of bikes in my garage and this is my favorite right now. It's just so fun. The power to weight ratio on this is insane. I like to compare it to a Hayabusa, for example. Going 100 miles an hour on a Hayabusa isn't shit. You're still in first gear. Going 60 miles an hour, on a razor changes your life. It's not about the absolute speed, it's about the relative speed. It pops up so easy on the wheelies and it's just, you've got full control. 
because it's so small. And there's also something really special about building it yourself. You know the ins and outs of the bike and you appreciate everything, all the little things because you did it yourself. So just all around, I recommend this bike. I think at the beginning when we were talking price, it was about $3,800, which if you compare it to any other 60 mile per hour motos, you're just not gonna find anything with this performance and level of fun in that price range. You just can't. The closest you could get would be the Talaria X for sure. But you know what? This bike's faster and uh, it's fun in a different way. Let's put it that way. If I've got all these bikes to choose from, I'm pretty much choosing this. As always, thank you so much for watching. I've got a really fun video for you next week. So make sure to stay tuned.